What is up everybody, back here with another video, and I know you guys are probably shocked. I haven't done a Hulk video, you know, just breaking down the Hulk strength in a while when it comes to the How Strong series, and I do feel like it's only right to add another member to the Gamma family known as Amadeus Chow. He's not really a lot of people's favorites, including me, of course. I wasn't like a big fan of his run. I read a couple of his stuff here and there, but I managed to do some digging and did some research and just got an idea of how strong he actually is. Read a couple of crossovers and had a he had a few interactions with the actual real Hulk, Bruce Banner Hulk to really see how he ranges in power and for the most part he's pretty consistently portrayed to be equivalent to other powerhouses in marvel even if you don't like him that doesn't matter if you don't like the character or not that doesn't change his power level like that's just being biased like if i was to say just because i like bruce banner more then i would i'm just gonna say i made this child with city level when like all the other gamma beings are like in the solar ranges star plus multi-star ranges that would be like bias and tart ish but Amadeus Child, even though he's not the Bruce Banner we know and love, he's still a Gamma Being. Yeah, I know there's been a lot of Gamma Beings in the past few years. It just seems like they keep making more because they're trying to strive off the Hulk success, right? So they just keep making more Gamma Beings. But Amadeus Child is one of those Gamma Beings. Surprisingly, he's actually pretty strong. And I like, he is kind of like his own character, even though he is, you know, kind of like a Bruce Banner Hulk knockoff still, like all the other Gamma members, but that's none of my business. But he does have his own personality and uniqueness to himself, and that makes him different and unique. Yeah, he's a super genius, but he's a super genius in a different type of way than Bruce. Like, he's more of a mathematical super genius rather than Bruce being like a energy, biochemist type of super genius type of character. He does math, uses his math, physics, and fighting skills even in his human form, which is actually uh, hilarious. For example, he uses his super math geometry skills to deflect a laser in somebody's eye with like this, like even with the human form. Every time you see this little red writing on the screen, it's him doing Superman to do something. He blew up this missile with the adamantium shrapnel because of physics. <laughs> he's smarter than you think. Like, he's this mathematical Superman during fights is actually dangerous. He was evidently able to take down some eternal with adamantium. Well, you got to put in consideration this is adamantium. So, he didn't fight nobody like Mockery or Icarus or nothing, but it's just something to note. He can dodge bullets by calculating the trajectory with super fast physics in his brain. Like, how does one even do this? Yep, he does the super physics again, dodging lasers. He freaking defeated a robot by using nothing more than a pebble. Are you joking? He used his super math and genius to figure out that during the World War Hulk arc, he truly was holding back. Like, the Hulk was truly holding back. Yeah, a Hulk that wasn't a Hulk beforehand. And Medeus Chow was complimenting the main man, Bruce Banner Hulk, on how he was holding back and how he could have killed everybody, but he didn't because he was holding back. Like, Medeus Chow is the one that did the physics to this. And based on how good his physics is for him to say something like this it doesn't just seem like something you would just say out of your mouth he can somehow maneuver in zero gravity because of physics and math evidently okay this physics is starting to get crazy like he literally takes down robots with a penny how is this even possible seriously though yeah look at his outfit yeah ant-man looking outfit i know you noticed that he was able to shoot something out of somebody's hand with the deduct deductive reasoning and math and super physics without even them being in a line of sight because of physics Use the super math to dodge Milner's hit? How though? It's funny because I haven't even gotten to his Hulk stuff yet and he's already a threat, right? That, yeah, you, you, didn't, you didn't expect all of this. But what about his general intelligence? He's not just a smart person when it comes to, you know, using physics to fight or die stuff or destroy robots. He's literally smart enough to hack the shield helicarrier. So there was these like nanobots that made by Tony Stark that was depowering She-Hulk's power that Tony Stark made to suppress her power because She-Hulk was kind of blanking at the moment. Um, figured out how to disable those nanobites that was depowering She-Hulk. Yeah, he's that smart. Something Tony Stark made. Create a machine that can make a force field. He even hacked in to every shield file they had about Hulk. You probably remember me mentioned Moonstone in one of my other videos, right? Able to use an enchanted Greek chest plate to KO Moonstone. Moonstone be having her moments like this time she fought the Hulk a little bit, moved the Hulk with a hit. Don't really like using drawing blood feats, but yeah, Moonstone was able to do this to Miss Marvel by drawing blood. Yeah, they look the same in these outfits, don't ask. And May Diaz Child was able to build his own Ant-Man helmet out of the stuff that was in the lab. Of course he would be a beast at gambling, winning a whole bunch of money at a casino in like 40 minutes or... Yeah. Creates a plan that was going to help trap the Chaos King. He's talking about this Chaos King. The same Chaos King that can kill Zeus with a single blow. Uh, yeah. You know, the Skyfather Zeus, uh, a Le Odin level being, by the way. The same being that evidently wiped out 98% of the multiverse. Yeah, this same guy. And that's Amadeus Child again saying this. Even Galactus considers that plan impressive. This, I'm telling you, don't underestimate his intelligence. 
somebody at Marvel that's considered underrated. With prep time, he was able to do this. Yeah. He had like special equipment. That's why I said prep. So the Greek god Hephaestus admitted that Amadeus' child is smarter than him. Like, whoa, a freaking human? Reed Richards, aka the being that a lot of people consider the number one smartest human based character in Marvel, considers Amadeus' child the seventh smartest. That's pretty high regard, considering all the smart people we have in the world, like Hank Pym, Black Panther, Reed Richards, Tony Stark, Doctor Doom, and a lot of other smart people that I'm not even thinking of at this moment. Yeah, that's high regard to be like in the top 10 of Marvel. That's ridiculous. Don't worry, I'll be getting to this intellect stuff when he's hulked out. Even when he's hooked out, he can still use his brain and think cleverly, which is actually pretty deadly considering how smart he already is. He used deductive reason to figure out he was actually in a illusion. Don't worry, I'm almost there. I just want to get into his gear real briefly. We're going to get into the feats of him as an actual gamma being. Oh boy, have fun. He has some interesting gear like, you know, banner tech, or he can like make little baby force fields around himself so he won't get shot up. I showed this earlier, but yeah, I didn't really expand on it. This shield is able to take a hit from Thor, by the way. This same shield, banner tech, has Hercules' like weapon in his part of his standard gear sometimes, <laughs> whenever they feel like it, right? Imagine him with this standard gear as a Medea's child, Hulk, right? At the gamma form, right? This is before he was a gamma burnt person. This unbreakable mace on top of banner tech shields and stuff is a deadly combo, and it can fire energy blasts. This is the same weapon I showed you that kind of like incapacitated Thor. Even has a teleportation system. Banner tech. Teleportation. You gotta love it. Has a suit built in AI to get some advanced strength. Flight and shields. Yeah, just a suit. Yes, the moment you have been waiting for. And let's get into how this smart behind person mixed in with the power of Hulk is. Let's see. Like the Hulk, Spider-Man tier characters try to hurt him. It doesn't really do much to him. And not only that, he was able to react to, to Miles Morales as Spider-Man before he can even react here. This is a cool little showing. Old Man Logan is, you know, of course, Wolverine older. He was able to react from a slash from Old Man Logan. Yeah, that's right. He actually got an interaction with Old Man Logan. Wolverine even complimented on his speed. You're probably thinking a compliment from somebody like Wolverine isn't that impressive. Well, considering characters like Black Panther and Wolverine are in the same range, right? Black Panther... And characters like Wolverine have ridiculous combat speed, probably more than you even think. Believe it or not, characters like Black Panther and Wolverine are fast enough to dodge stuff in a microsecond. Here you have Black Panther dodging something in a microsecond. It was something thrown by the Hulk, by the way. So these supposedly lower tier characters that you don't think are that fast and be dodging characters that are powerhouses attacks are not as slow as you think. For reference on what a microsecond is, it's one millionth of a second. For reference, top tier beings like Darkseid have feet stated to be in the microsecond. No, I'm not saying Black Panther or any of these characters are as fast as Darkseid. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that Black Panther has a microsecond feet, something in high regard considering that top tiers like freaking Darkseid have microsecond level feats. Yeah, like Black Panther has microsecond feats and characters that are top tiers like Darkseid have microsecond feats. Just give you an idea of how these fast these characters actually are and not as, they're not as slow as you think. No, I do not think Black Panther is as fast as Darkseid. That's just a reference on how fast a microsecond is. For somebody this high up tier in DC, the universe that everybody considers way faster than Marvel, to have feats like this letting you know like, yeah. I love when the, like hulkish beings be fighting giant creatures, dodging this little blast. I love seeing reaction speeds, like even when they made his child is in his human form, he turns into the Hulk form and slaps Sabretooth away before he can do much, like showing that he can transform at will. You guys remember Fing Fang Foom, a, a Hulk villain for over the years, like uh, one of the beings I want to see Hulk fight in live action, but that's none of my business. Very strong being. I made his child was able to fight this same being, handle this same being. Pretty much manhandle Fing Fang Foom, a being that had been fighting Hulk for years. Probably a planet level being, large planet level being, and Medea's child is probably able, is able to handle him. While underwater, Medea's child showed raw strength to be able to lift a cruise ship while underwater. Without keep in mind that he doesn't have any leverage, right, y'all? He he doesn't he doesn't have flight, right? So he had to use like what? His jumping raw power to do this? Like, think about this for a second. He's not standing on anything. This is cooler than you think. Amadeus Chow is implied to have the same powers as the normal Hulk, right? Even if you don't like him, that doesn't matter. He has the strength increase factor, but he's pretty calm on this occasion. Fighting Fing Fang Foom, showing his raw punching power to be able to straight up knock out Fing Fang Foom. Messes up a few dinosaurs, lightweight. Messes up another dinosaur, lightweight for him. Just having a fun time beating the living snot out of monsters, sending them flying with a ground smash, showing he's too much for these characters. Characters that have been a fight for the Hulk in the past, like Zimnu in the Slugfest style. He's even going to appear in a new Immortal Hulk comic, by the way. 
able to slug it out with Zimnu and even get the advantage in overpowering Zimnu to a pretty high degree, further concreting himself in the powerhouse ranges of power. Kind of gets the advantage over Old Man Low occasions. No surprise here. I mean, he is a gamma being. Cause Earthquake with his raw punching power. Obviously, right? Somebody in his level of power. He's a gamma being. Hulk ish range being. I mean, he does have the powers of Hulk, right? This dude, Amadeus Child, is a troll. Look at what he did. Made you look. Like, really, Amadeus Child? You really trolling with your strength? This is the type of stuff that makes him fun. There was this time Abadeus Chow actually fought Black Panther himself, a Hulkbuster suit, Black Panther. This is broken. A Hulkbuster suit more than likely is made of vibranium, guys. So let, let's put that into consideration. Has sonic wave attacks that hurt powerhouse beings like this thanks to their acute hearing because they got better hearing than normal, right? The suit was evidently made to feed off the gamma energy, but yet still able to kind of consistently overpower the suit despite it being able to do all of this. Even the idea of somebody that, like any being with the gamma being is just a threat no matter what. As you see here, it looks like he's getting an advantage over him, overpowering him quite a bit. But you got to remember, he's still a gamma being. He does have a strength increase factor and he was able to do this to uh, more than likely a vibranium suit. So this is actually pretty freaking impressive. Like goodness, Grace is alive. It's already implied that he's concrete in the black hole level because he does have the same powers of Hulk, but if that doesn't make it, you know, certain for you, just in case you're curious, it's stated here that he can literally break apart the moon. Yeah, Amadeus Chow has feats like this. He didn't actually do it, but let's be honest, this is actually lightweight compared to what a Hulk character can do. Okay, you remember She-Hulk, Sensation of She-Hulk? I actually have a whole video about her. She's pretty strong, but nowhere near the black hole level being like the Hulk and Thor, right? There was a whole bunch of monsters that were attacking Amadeus Chow. Evidently, it was able to fight all these monsters by himself and shrug them off of him even though they all were had a similar strength to she-hulk might have not been exactly equal but at least probably what 75 percent of she-hulk possibly right something like that like he really has some cool showings like really destroying these giant monsters building size monsters too this is actual casual stuff here's a little angle of how big the monster actually was that amadeus chow actually destroyed here like i keep saying over and over again this is lightweight for a gamma being stated you're going to sink the entire north shore causing earthquakes Implied he can sink the island at will. Nothing surprise here. There was this like little minotaur thing. You know the little things that be fighting the Greek guys like in the little God of War games. They're comparable to or mini bosses to characters like Hercules as you can see here. He was kind of able to handle this minotaur right here. You're probably thinking oh this ain't nothing right. Keep in mind that minotaur you know Kid Nova. A, a, a being that's more than likely close to the black hole level being. But I wouldn't necessarily say he's equal to you know Hulk and Thor level beings. But this same minotaur that Amadeus Chow just like kind of messed up. Was laughing off attacks from freaking Nova's energy blast. Like, look, he's, it looks like he's smiling. Are you kidding? Okay there's this mutant known as Warpath. Okay Warpath like he's strong enough to do this. Like Warpath is more than likely what? In the Luke Cage range of strength at least. We, like Warpath can more than likely live hundreds or several hundred tons, probably 500 or 1,000 tons even, maybe, right? But Amadeus Chow was able to fight a whole bunch of cyborgs, 20 exact, each one having the strength of Warpath. Yeah, this is actually pretty crazy. Still was able to overpower them like that. Amadeus Chow was just, you know, it was kind of like a figure of speech here. He said he's as strong as 10 Warpaths. Let's be honest, he's way stronger than just 10 Warpaths. Warpaths can't, like, 10 Warpaths can't fight Hulk, like a normal baseline Hulk, like, like Bruce Banner Hulk, right? So just give you an idea of how strong he is. They're not ready. All these cyborgs are this strong. Don't sleep on Amadeus Chow Hulk. One of the most underrated characters of all time. The Thing, you're probably thinking it's not that impressive. Be sure to check out my Thing video I just made. So, yeah, you, you can understand why this is not no easy feat. I mean, this child was able to fight on par with characters like The Thing. The Thing is so underrated that he's fought the Hulk so many times over the years. It's ridiculous. I'm not even kidding. But yet he's able to fight a being that's always been fighting the Hulk over years. It's only right for Amadeus Chow to fight the Thing and give him a fight throughout there. They actually stalemated. Like, wow. This is actually a feat for the Thing, too. Like, wow, they stalemated and they're both asleep. Like, what? Keep in mind that the Thing was able to fight characters like Hercules, slugging out in them in the, like plenty of times throughout the years. Not to mention the Thing has fought characters like powerhouse beings like Thor in drawn out fights and serious fights when he was mind controlled here. Showing that stalemates in the Thing isn't no lightweight feat. The Thing has also fought characters like Namor, even underwater. Even characters like Hulk on several occasions. 
you can go through my thing video to see all this stuff in detail. I'm not going to go through too much. Just give you an idea of why Stalemate in the thing is bigger than you think. The thing has fought it out with heroes of Galactus like Terex, Star Level Being 2. The one thing I do believe that the real Hulk has over Medea's child is that his anger problems and multiple personality disorder is probably the reason why you see that Hulk getting on crazy levels of power. His child actually has some cool showings. He actually dodges things a lot more. It would be cool if we saw him use his super math more though. Yeah, this dinosaur, yeah, this little creature's trying to bite him and it's, it's not working well. Obviously, he's bulletproof, right? No surprise that a gamma being can take nukes, the czar, the strongest bomb ever. Yeah, human history, might I add. You know how comics are, you know, you know, you, you time travel here and there. He was able to take a blast from, you know, Cyclops, young Cyclops. Yeah, don't ask, he met the young, yeah, young people, you know, comics you know either characters get de-aged or they go back in time or you know how these events incur Zimnu has a reputation of being able to control people with his telepathy even worldwide type of telepathy and even controlling entire cities in this very same issue right here but in this same issue he tried to do the same thing on Amadeus Child Hulk but he resisted probably thanks to his super brain willpower and gamma power resistance oh yeah back to the Cyclops feet for a second Cyclops has so much blast power in his older days, you get the idea. He has enough power to blast away mountains. So just get an idea of how strong this durability feat is for him taking a blast from young Cyclops. Not to mention there's been time and time again where it was implied that Cyclops with his powers fully unloaded or unleashed without his glasses on, it can release enough plant power to destroy a small planet. So then there's that. He even got in a little scuffle with Jane Foster Thor. Yeah, I know you don't like Jane Foster Thor, but she's still a powerhouse. Even if you don't like him or not, it doesn't matter what your opinion is. It's still strong. So blocking an attack from Jane Foster Thor with the Mjolnir. Yeah, he blocked the Mjolnir with his hand. He's that durable. To even further prove that a Medea's child Hulk is up there with the black hole level beings that you probably, because you hate him because he's a Bruce Banner Hulk knockoff or he's a Hulk that you don't like. I'm just saying, you can't be biased. His power, power is power. And, and he's consistently portrayed to be on that level of power. He is a gamma being. Nothing really contradicting it either. He even fought Thor. Unworthy Thor. You're probably, he's unworthy. He ain't that strong. Oh, oh, he ain't? Oh, okay. Looked it out with him for quite a few panels. As you can see here. Yeah, it's a lot of reminiscence to World War Hulk. Don't, don't ask. They try to do like their little World War Hulk arc again. Getting off topic, he was able to fight on par with Thor. Please note that Unworthy Thor, just because he doesn't have his hammer, he, does, he still does have his strength. But for argument's sake, what, he'll uh, be a uh, slightly weaker? Unlikely though, right? Looks like Thor had the advantage. Yeah, they was going to fight. This fight was kind of brutal. This is kind of epic though. This, the crush the little thingy on his chest, like the BDS disc type thing, similar to the World War Hulk, Planet Hulk arc. He was able to fight some Adamantium Hulk clone, just in case that unworthy Thor feat wasn't enough for you. Just got to further prove to you how strong Amidia's child Hulk is, no matter what you think of him. Ta-da, got to show you the thunderclap. These people love having, you know, Amidia's child fight Hulk clones. There was this Hulk clone that was a hybrid of Wolverine too. Fought him. Seemed to have like the little world breaker moment here. Kind of overpowered him here and here. Thanks to the time travel events. Yeah, somehow, some way, Marvel had to find a way to have Amidia's child fight the actual real Bruce Banner Hulk. You're probably like, how the heck are these two existing at the same time? During the run of Amidia's child, the real Hulk was dead, supposedly, quote unquote, at the time, right? Well, evidently, there's time travel stuff in comics, like I told you before. He evidently got sent to the past somehow where Amidia's child fought the real hulk for a little bit further concreting his level of power showing that he does scale or is comparable to the classic hulk it's like that media's child only weakness is his intelligence intelligence is at keeping him from being just like a completely raised out beast which is i would say gives hulk the real hulk the advantage and the, you know i don't think a media's child has all these different personalities either he's never shown other personalities like bruce banner so that's the difference but yeah he's able to hang with him for the most part like pretty blow for blow the thing about Amadeus Child Hulk, he doesn't have the most flashy feats. I mean, he doesn't really need them based on his battle feats and his lore. He has, you know, Hulk's abilities and stuff like that other than his personality disorder and doesn't seem to have the best strength increase factor like Hulk does, like, you know, the mindless Hulk situation and stuff like that. But he's still ridiculously insane, still comparable to the powerhouses and black hole beings of Marvel concretely. And it's not really much contradictions and it's very consistent. And for those who are curious, I mean, this child has even appeared recently, even in the new Immortal Hulk comic. So you're probably wondering, oh, where is he at since, you know, the new Hulk is back? No, he's still, he's still around, but in this art style, he looks a little different and smaller, but, you know, <laughs> he's still around. Another gamma being added to the family. It looks like he's just going to be a permanent gamma being along with Bruce and all the other gamma beings now. Also implied that he could be immortal like the Hulk because, you know, even I mean, this child asked Hulk, in the, the real Hulk in the recent comic, oh, uh, well, I die permanently, blah, 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 blah. So it's a possibility that as immortality, you know, they talk about how the Hulk has other dormant personalities and stuff like that. So that's cool to see. 
Seeing him interact to the real Hulk in current time, the new Immortal Hulk at that is a pretty cool interaction. If you haven't read Immortal Hulk, please, I advise you to read that. It's a very good saga. Yeah. Possibly into the live action movies, get Hulk right or get him going right properly. Don't really have much more to say. I mean, he's pretty freaking strong and consistent. I mean, he should be around the other, you know, powerhouse levels, black hole level beings in Marvel. The only difference I would say he has oh, different than I mean, Banner Hulk is his multiple personality disorder. He's still a gamma being, but the main Hulk is obviously going to be above still because he's the main one. They can't do him like that. I mean, we have seen situations where the new version is better, like Wally West being faster than Barry and blah, 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 blah. But this is not the case. The Hulk just has too much depth, the main one, the Bruce Banner one. Plus, it's implied that he's mystical in nature and not just a scientific being. And he's, like, implied to be a mystical being that's the son of the one below all in the new comics and stuff like that. So, I mean, this child could be just, like, what, an extension or of him, I guess. I mean, just chill because he's one of his buddies, you know. It's one of those things. As far as I'm concerned, he should have combat speed similar to other powers like Thor, Hulk, Silver Surfer in him, meaning that he more than likely has massively fast and light combat speed reaction time. Even though he doesn't have the most flashy features when it comes to that, like I said, he's relatively new, doesn't have the most comic appearances, but like I said, the writer intent is there, and the writer intent is very, very important. It's implied that the writers want him to be on the Thor and Gladiator Power Rangers, regardless if you don't like him or not. I'm just saying, it's the it facts is the facts. He fought all of the Hulk's main villains, fought Hulk clones, has destroyed beings that are multiple war paths have reacted to characters like Miles Morales and overpowered Miles Morales level characters. He's very consistent, has fought Lady Thor, even if you don't like her, she's still a powerhouse. She's fought the Unworthy Thor in a war, even got the advantage over Unworthy Thor on a couple of occasions. Unworthy Thor still has Thor's godlike strength, and we know Thor had lifted Midgard's serpents with his raw power, godlike strength, has stalemated beings like Hercules' strength, and he can literally lift the heavens on his back. Gladiator is stated to have confirmed and stated to have black hole level power. Slugs it out with Phoenix Force users like Phoenix Force Cyclops, who was like in the solar system ranges at least because he got the Phoenix Force in him and he was in a losing battle. Even stated in the same panel that he has the power to rip apart black holes, confirmed that he's in the black hole level and the Medea's child is confirmed or implied or rather intently made to be in that range of power for sure, unless you're just being hard and want to uh, lowball him because you don't like him for other biased reasons. But that's just how it is. But what do you guys think? How do you like a Medea's child, Hulk? I don't like him as much as Bruce Banner Hulk. I still like him though. He's, he's, he grew on me a little bit, but I, of course, I'm, I'm, I didn't read his comics religiously like I'm doing Mortal Hulk because, you know, I love the Bruce Banner one, but I'm open to new ideas and he's, for the most part, he's pretty interesting, consistent. He's unique in his own way. He's smart, has tech, uses super math in his human form to dodge stuff that he shouldn't be able to dodge and stuff like that. Mixing that in with his gamma form is actually a big, scary combination. I mean, you got to respect somebody that can just like consistently fight giant monsters. I love feats like this. Taking blasts and attacks from giant little turtle monsters like that, just handling them. Gotta love it. Implied to be using his super math with his hulkish level power on top of that. To end the video off, yeah, he's comparable to the Hulk, but like I said, he hasn't shown no high-end feats like of anger like the Hulk has. Like, you know, the time where Hulk pretty much fought a Skyfather level beam because of anger. I haven't seen a media's child Hulk get to this level of rage or anger and stuff like that. And please don't correct me in this video if I'm saying his name wrong. Don't judge me. Like, this is supposed to be a fun video, not a school video or a grammar Nazi video. I'm just saying. But like, yeah, I haven't seen no feats like this from a media's child. And nor have I seen him do stuff like this, be able to fight Sentry. No, I do not believe Amidia's child is equal to Sentry or should be comparable. He's like pretty decently below Sentry, especially now Sentry. I think the real Hulk could fight Sentry, but like, yeah, I, th I, think, I think there's limits to it. Like Sentry is a pretty different type of superhero case. Okay? Like he's one of those higher end superheroes that, would, that are generally considered above the Thor ranges consistently. But yeah, that's another topic for another story. But for the most part, did you guys enjoy my run? I hope you guys learned something new. Hope you guys found this informative. Hope you guys under, now clearly understand how strong he actually is and the writer intent behind him. Regardless if you don't like him as much as Bruce, you got to respect his power. That's just how it is. But put your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Check out the playlist in the description below so you can see more videos like this. I do a lot of videos like this. Make sure you check out the affiliate links for things like this and stuff like that. I will see you guys next time and I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.